Thanks, uh, Les Concorda. I am taking the opening statement on behalf of uh, Minister Stenton, who will uh, conclude his remarks at the end of the debate. Uh, I'll move an amendment, in, if that's okay, uh, Les Concorda. Um, amendment one has been. Um, Minister Stanton is glad to have the opportunity to engage with deputies as he shares many of the concerns outlined in the motion. However, there are concerns about some elements of the motion and the Government is proposing a counter motion. The revised text highlights strate uh, strategic actions that are already in train, which addresses many of the concerns raised in the motion. There are also some aspects of the motion which, uh, <clears throat> where the proposed actions would be uh, most unwise or where the wording of the motion needs tightening up. That being said, all of us in the House can agree that we are seriously concerned at the issues outlined by the Garda Commissioner regarding the handling of youth crime cases, which were deemed unsuitable for inclusion uh, in the juvenile uh, address and focus in a strategic manner through the implementation of the recommendations oh, sorry, in a diversion system. The Commissioner uh, provided an interim report to the Policing Authority of a review of crime cases from 2010 to 2017. There is more work to be done to complete this review, so we do not have the final picture at this stage. However, it seems that there were in the region of 160,000 EU crime cases in that period. Roughly one third of them were deemed unsuitable for the Garda Diversion Programme. Of those incidents uh, deemed unsuitable, there appears to have been a failure to carry out uh, a prosecution of almost 8,000 EU crime cases. It is completely unacceptable that failures in the Garda system or by individual Garda uh, would lead to a situation where crimes are not properly pursued. And that, uh, I have no doubt that we are all in agreement. The Government also agrees that the action must be taken to address this situation thoroughly. This must be done not just in the interest of victims and the proper administration of justice, but also for the future welfare of children and young people who become involved in crime. However, the motion does not take account of the fact that most uh, of the issues which it highlights are already being addressed in a focused and strategic manner through the implementation of the recommendations for the Commission for the Future Policing in Ireland, which the Government has endorsed. Bearing in mind that the issues under, the, under uh, discussion cover a seven-year period starting in 2010 and that the enhancements to Pulse commencing during 2015 have led to significant improvements in case management in the last few years. This was clearly set out in the Garda Commissioner's presentation to the Policing Authority. Fundamental issues identified in the Commissioner's interim report include inadequate ICT, poor supervision, lack of training and possible individual failings. All deputies will recall that similar concerns were highlighted in other Garda-related reports and the recommendations of the Commission on the future of policing are aimed at addressing systematically the failings that have been identified. Having published a four-year implementation plan in December, we are now, as a Government, setting out uh, about putting these recommendations into effect. This is a key strategy to achieve lasting structural, administrative and cultural reform within our Garda Shikana. Minister Stanton will return later to the, in the debate when he's summing up to discuss this in more detail. The counter motion underlines the importance of the Commission's report and it also amends some of the details contained in the motion which was proposed. These include, include a call for a review uh, to determine whether disciplinary action should be taken. Minister Stanton agrees that it is very worrying that so many individual Gardaí appear to have been at fault over the seven-year period. However, all deputies will be aware that disciplinary issues within Agarda Shia Khanna are a matter for the Commissioner, and he has very clearly outlined the process that is being put in train to address this. Chief Superintendents have been mandated by the Commissioner to ass assess if disciplinary action should be taken in each case. The Commissioner has also undertaken to update the Policing Authority on the outcome of the process. Understandably, the Commissioner has been reluctant to give any more details in relation to disciplinary measures, so as to not do anything that might be, uh, that might be seen to prejudice objections. Clearly, such procedures must be allowed to take their course. The motion contains a call for reporting to the Oireachtas and Garda oversight of youth crime. This would have the effect of subverting the statutory remit of the Policing Authority, which operates in according to legislation enacted by the Houses of the Oireachtas. It would also involve the Houses of the Oireachtas in direct monitoring of, of functions of a Garda Síochána. This would be in entirely inappropriate, and deputies will be aware that the Commissioner is already subject to examination by the Oireachtas committees. The motion incorrectly attributes the serious failures to, to prosecute crimes as failures of uh, the Garda Diversion Programme. The Garda failures in new crime cases were related to cases deemed unsuitable for diversion and which were dealt with outside the Diversion Programme. Uh, Minister Stanton feels that the motion's confusion of the Diversion Programme and the Garda failures to prosecute could be construed as criticism of the very valuable work that Garda Shia Khanna's juvenile liaison officers do and the community-based um, Garda Shia Khanna youth diversion programmes. This would be most unfortunate. Over many years, the Diversion Programme has helped thousands of young offenders turn away from crime and antisocial behaviour, and the Government greatly values this work, as I'm sure all members of the House do. 
Both the Chair of the Policing Authority and the Commissioner were very careful to acknowledge the value of the diversion programme, and it is essential that Dáil Airden does, does, so, does so as well. Our counter motion is framed accordingly. The sustained focus which the Policing Authority has given uh, to this matter is very important to help us all understand what happened, why it happened, and what has been done to fix it. The Authority conducted a very rigorous public examination on the issue on the 17th of January and made it very clear that they will continue to probe uh, the detail of what has happened, uh, what is being done to rectify it, and the implications uh, for Garda crime management generally. Minister Stanton believes that continuing engagement and monitoring by the policing authority is the best way for us all to verify the errors that have been made in the past and that they will not be repeated. However, it will take some time before the full examination and verification of these matters is fully complete. Minister Stanton shares the concerns expressed in the motion in relation to the 3,500 victims of crimes in these cases. These included 2,500 individuals and 1,000 businesses or organisations. We have to accept that justice was not done in any of these cases, and clearly people have been let down and have not received the support uh, that should have been given to them by the agents of the state. It was right and fitting that the Commissioner made a full and sincere apology to the victims of these crimes when he addressed the policing authority. And Garda Siakana have taken a number of steps to help the victims of these crimes. The first of these is a helpline, which has been set up uh, as a contact point for the victims, should they need support. Details of the helpline are av available uh, on the website of Garda Siakana. And Garda Siakana have also issued letters to each of the victims. In some cases, these letters have been uh, hand-delivered by members of the force, depending on the circumstances of the case. In addition to this, uh, each of the victims can request a visit from an, a, a local Garda a team from the Garda Victims um, Services Office to provide further information on their individual cases. Another disturbing issue is the fact that most of these cases uh, which went unprocessed will be statute barred due to the time delay. However, senior Garda managers are looking at the more recent individual cases to determine whether any further action can be taken. The Commissioner has also indicated that relevant discussions with the DPP will take place uh, as may be necessary and appropriate. Uh, Las Concorla, uh, despite some differences in the approach and some issues uh, with the detail of the motion which has been proposed, there is sub substantial common ground among all deputies in the House in relation to the matter. We all want a full explanation of why these very serious issues have arisen. We all want to see effective and reliable systems put in place within Angarda Shiakana. We all want victims of crime to see justice done. And we all want those children and young people who become involved in crime to have their behaviour challenged. I'm sure uh, as we all are, uh, that those in agreement with, uh, I'm sure that we are all in agreement that those young people are also worthy of our best efforts to support them in, fight, in finding a more positive path in their lives. We look forward uh, in the House to a, a positive debate and very much value the input of all deputies, making the ongoing development of uh, our youth justice policies. We are opposing the motion tonight and moving a government counter motion. Deputies will see that we are proposing uh, such a motion to keep as much of the spirit and language of the original motion as possible, and I hope that the House will be able to unite around the revised text that we are proposing. Good morning.